What does Aikido mean? Yeah, I know that I can do this. I know I got this. Just watch me do this. Hello, my name is Eric Calderon, and I studied martial arts on and off since the age of five. But when I was 20, I got this incredible itch to move to Japan and study martial arts full time. Aikido is a martial art coined by a man named Morihei Ueshiba. He was born in 1883 and died in 1969. To really understand what Aikido means, it's important to understand the history and culture of Japan and how it influenced the development and ultimately the meaning of Aikido. First, let's take a look at the word Aikido. It's made up of three separate Chinese characters known as kanji. The first kanji, Ai, means to fit, suit, or join. We usually refer to this word as meaning harmony. The second kanji, Ki, spirit, mind, heart, we usually refer to this word as meaning spirit. And the last kanji, Do, road, way, street, district, journey, course, moral, teachings, we refer to this word as way. So translated into English, Aikido means the way to harmonize the spirit. But what does that actually mean? The word has a deep philosophical meaning that transcends the literal meaning. In 1926, Morihei Ueshiba moved to Tokyo, Japan and opened up his dojo, the Aikikai World Headquarters. During World War II, the dojo was closed and Morihei Ueshiba moved to Iwama and built a dojo there. It's important to note these two locations because they have developed into two distinct styles of Aikido the Iwama Ryu and the Aikikai style. After the end of World War II, the martial arts as a whole changed. First off, during the US occupation, all martial arts were banned. This is about the time Morihei Ueshiba moved to Iwama and continued his teachings and training in secret. The martial arts transformed from Jutsu, way method technique means, for example, Ueshiba had trained in Daito Ryu Aiki Jujutsu, to Do, road, way, street, district, journey, course, moral, Aikido. This helps us understand how this word was shaped from method or technique to way of life or path. The Japanese language is structured differently than the English language. In English, we typically have the subject verb object structure, whereas in Japanese, the structure is subject object verb. The difference in language structure helped me understand on a deeper level what Aikido means and the practical applications of the techniques. Let's say that this is one of the hidden secrets of Aikido. Instead of me being an active participant and applying a technique, the subject me and the object my attacker are brothers, and the technique is what comes last. I've been doing Aikido for over 19 years, constantly thinking about what Aikido means and why I continue to pursue learning Aikido. Constantly, I think about Aikido on three separate planes, the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. On a physical level, Aikido means the forging and training of the body, constant and never-ending physical exercise, taking our bodies as far as they can go. And yes, that means being extremely physically fit. Training the body so that you can train all day long. Training the body so that even when you're tired, you can continue. Kind of like running a marathon. You need to constantly train the body so that you're at a level that one, you can compete against the clock, and two, you're physically able to run the distance without injury. We don't train to injure ourselves, but we train in order to build the physical body to prevent injury and endure long training sessions. On a mental level, Aikido means that we are constantly studying and seeking for understanding on a physical level as well as on a technical level, the movements of Aikido. While in Japan, I spent hours upon hours reading every book I could in order to understand what Aikido is. I studied the religions it's based on, I studied the people that wrote the books, I studied the philosophies of the time, everything I could get my hands on, even fictional books. I really enjoyed the novel Miyamoto Musashi by Eji Yoshikawa. This novel is a must read for anyone interested in martial arts. <laughs> Musashi was a true figure and a legend of the sword in Japan. He authored The Book of Five Rings, an excellent book on technical strategies. On a spiritual level, Aikido means that we are working on values that add and build our spirit. Self-discipline, compassion, responsibility, friendship, work, courage, perseverance, honesty, loyalty, faith. 
I actually picked up these values from, a, from the Book of Virtues by William Bennett while in Japan studying Aikido, and they became a core essence of what I believe to be the important values that we can build while training in Aikido that will transcend into every aspect of our lives. It's not easy training the spirit. It's such an unknown and hard to understand aspect of our lives. Exhaust yourself physically, never stop learning, and that's the gateway to the spirit. And yes, the Bible is a great book to read. Although Aikido literally translates into the way to harmonize the spirit, it means a lot more than just that. Aikido is a martial art or a fighting art. The techniques are designed to protect you from an attack. Interestingly, what separates Aikido from other martial arts is that the techniques are also designed to protect your attacker as well. This adds even more meaning to the word Aikido. As you train, you will develop your own meaning. The harder and deeper you study, the more profound your understanding of the word Aikido will become. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell for notifications. And if you're ever in my area and you want to deepen your understanding of Aikido, please stop by and visit a class. You can visit my website at www.shinkikan.com for more information.